Let's face it, no matter how small the boat, cruisers make room for what's important to them. And if having fresh greens on board makes you happy, I've got some good news. It is possible to garden on a boat. Hi there, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share how some cruisers grow provisions in micro gardens aboard. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Lunatech, makers of the Hydration Spray Bottle, an odor-free dishcloth, and self-cleaning washcloth. Lunatech offers practical gear designed to save water and reduce waste. A water bottle that doubles as a garden hose or little mini tank sprayer for your dishes. A dishcloth that doesn't get stinky. Oh, I use them both. Yes, please. Visit lunatechgear.com to learn more and use the code BOATGALLEY to save 10% on everything. Lunatech, innovative gear for your outdoor adventures. I wish you had a garden on your boat. I've always thought it would be great, but never really sat down and thought about making it a reality. Reader Carol Watson did. She and her husband spent summers on their boat. It's a converted workboat in Northern Europe. And she came up with a system for a garden on a boat that truly worked. If you've ever longed for fresh greens or flowers on the boat, know that it is possible. Since greens have always been hard for me to store more than a day or two, as they quickly bruise with the motion of the boat, even with a refrigerator, I love the idea of just cutting them fresh whenever I want a salad. Okay, basic idea for gardening on the boat. Here's how Carol describes her garden. She says, I absolutely cannot function without fresh salad. The first year on our boat, we had no refrigeration the entire summer. And now we only have refrigeration when we have shore power. So quite early on, I arranged to grow my own. And it works really well for us. My husband does get a bit obsessive about moving the garden containers around the back deck. So I try to keep the growing boxes small and of minimum weight as much as I can. I have a couple of plastic storage boxes that I've drilled holes in the bottom of for drainage. I cover the holes with a disposable fiber, uh, not paper, but the, uh, the stuff that's more like burlap bags, and then I fill them with potting soil. Now, some of this may work so well for us because we're a motorboat and generally in at least somewhat protected waters. And we have a back deck that's more than large enough to accommodate plantings. And we never, ever travel in rough weather anyways. So it's a very stable and roomy platform. Not at all tippy like a sailboat. We get a jump on the season when we first arrive. I buy a couple of cheap seedlings at the market and supplement them with herbs and a few flowers and just leave them on the back deck. I'll also start seeds, often in the plastic trays grocery stores meats come in, and transplant them as needed. The seeds I use are generally referred to as, cut let as leaf lettuce, but in the States are often called cut and come again. I also use mixes of seeds intended for microgreens. It's been so successful that I start a few trays of seedlings when we get back to the States to finish out the year. You can use the lids as intended to incubate the seeds and encourage them to sprout a bit sooner, and then under the containers to hold draining water if, if you want. I use leaf lettuce because I can harvest just a few of the larger outer leaves from each plant and have enough for a salad, but still leave the smaller leaves in the center of the plant to keep growing. That way, I get a couple of months of growth from each plant instead of just waiting for a whole new plant to grow. And instead of a bulky salad spinner, I follow the French tradition. I've sewn a small drawstring bag of cheesecloth, and after I've washed the lettuce, I put it in the bag and give it a good swing. Very short term, the lettuce can store in the bag in a cool area, and it's ready for dinner. An added benefit is that other boaters are surprisingly intrigued by our floating garden. A lot of folks stop by to talk because of all the greenery. New friends and fresh salad? That's a win-win. Okay, that's it for this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast. I hope you found it interesting and maybe got you thinking about how you can have a little garden on board. Please be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode and tell your friends about us. 
the boat galley, making boat life better.